J. Marie in the super chat. Hey boss, here's my envelope for the week. Can you explain to us how the VIG works? Who has to pay and how much? And did street guys who weren't made have to pay also? Thank you, Sammy. Take care. Yeah, in, in the mob, you know, you, you don't have to be a made guy. It's hard to become a made guy. You could be an associate to the mob. And then there's made guys. Above them are captains, Cabrigis. above them is the administration boss, underboss, and gozier of the family. Everybody pays up. Now, why you do that is because when you go in business or you need a favor, you're getting the strength of the whole family. So for the family to eat, everybody goes up with what they do, a percentage. It doesn't have to be a lot, it has to be something. And because you, ultimately you're using our power, our strength. You have a business, you have a problem with a union. A lot of times you go to your guy, whoever it may be, he goes to whoever he's got to go, and we resolve your problem. Could be about people bothering you as a neighbor, your, your mother and father, legitimate people. And uh, you would come to me, let's say, when I was on the street. You'd say, Sammy, my dad and my mom, they're legitimate people. They have a problem with this. Somebody's bothering them. They're good people, nice people. I would intervene. And I would tell people, stay the fuck away. Leave them alone. They're good people. There's all kinds of things that the mafia does for you. So if you're doing something and you're doing well and you use our connections and our power, kicking up something is not a big deal. Doesn't have to be a big amount. Could be something. Legitimate things you do, you don't even have to kick up. But to do the right thing is to kick up. If you're a crook and you're making money or you got a, you know, stuff like that, Sherlock and you're lending out your own money, you're making interest, you don't have to kick up. You have a sports business, it's protected by the whole mob. So kick it up from there, that's a mob thing. When you're working with the unions, it's a mob thing. So a lot of times you could open up a legitimate business and you're connected with us. You open up a little bakery. I tell all my people, uh, Anna just opened up a bakery. Go, go, go buy your bread and uh, whatever over there. Go. So all of a sudden, automatically, without even trying, she opened the door, she's got 10, 20, 30 customers. That's the power of the mob. Not just me, but my power as the mob. I spread the word. Now she has to have a good product and a, and a good, you know, good way and good price and she'll be successful. It's easier to be successful when you have our, our power behind you. So there's nothing wrong with kicking up. And uh, most of the times it's, you know, appreciated. Just like somebody's doing now. I, nobody's telling anybody to give me an envelope. But they give me an envelope. It's appreciated. And there's no requirement on it. Nobody's asking you. Nobody's putting pressure on you. Nobody's saying somebody gave more than another person. What you do is appreciated. But it's not something that you have to do. It's not something I'm ordering you to do. It's not ugly. Yeah. So I, I, it's almost similar to that. Nice. Thank you, Sammy. Fun for reason in the super chat. It's Monday again. Time to listen to Sammy. Greetings from Estonia. Please give Sammy his cigarello back. Love the content. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, uh, yes, uh, where's my cigarellos? <laughs> Yo no sé. Yo no sé. No. All right. <laughs>